All right, guys, so there's a whole bunch of coffee Rolos. There's stuff in that bag. And I just, like, I'm standing on a thing. And it's just barely out of reach. <laughs> so, unfortunately, I can't grab these things because I am not... A, the opening to the dumpster is not wide enough for me to climb in. And it's too... Oh, man, they fat-proofed the dumpster. That's crazy. They would throw Rolos in there as, like, a rat trap for fat people that try to dumpster dive, right? Dangerous, so... Hey, what's up, guys? Sean back. And, um, we checked out Amberlynn the other day, right? But Foodie Beauty, she's the one that's, like, more entertaining to me. She is just, like, a beautiful disaster. Like, no. I mean, it's amazing. It's not beautiful, but it's amazing just how messed up that lady's life can be. And just how much stuff she gets in. So she's the entertaining one out of the two. To me at least, okay? Now Amber, boring, kind of pathological liar. Foodie beauty, train wreck from hell, baby. That thing is crazy. She did, you know, the guy wants to... Oh, I can't even say it. Okay. What he wants to do to Christian women, I think, was the thing he said. Uh, was pretty gross. So he's just a disgusting human being. She's a disgusting human being. And I'm here for it, and I really don't pull my punches. And also, one of you emailed me and said that you had a lightning rod that I could grab if <laughs> I ever decided to watch Girl World again. And I don't think they were kidding. They actually said they were like a mechanical engineer. They had lightning rods on their building. At first, I thought it might have just been something they were saying about their Peter, but turns out not the case. Okay, let's check out Foodie Beauty and this beautiful train wreck. Oh yeah, it's Girl 2. Oh god, there's twerking at the start. Let me try the jeans. I have a wedge. <laughs> okay, your best of moments cannot consist of her stripping. This is how you start this? Do you want people to click off this video? Your retention rate must be shit. <sighs> <sighs> I got some nice jeans, they're petite. Kind of funny. She, I think she was doing the Ghostbusters theme because this is going to haunt me for a while. These are boyfriend cut jeans. I lost That's my phone today. I left it in the bath, the public washroom. I had to run all the way back. I was so hot and sweaty. <laughs> I was People are sharing baths with you? I've seen the lobster mac and cheese video, so I know that's gross. Crabby. <laughs> I get crabby. I don't know if you'll be able to see the jeans, but I have a, I have a moose knuckle from my thongs. My the receipt got stuck in my butt. Oh. Alright. <sighs> she is fighting those jeans for dear life. You need to go at least like two sizes up because this ain't working, sis. These are 26. I'm pulling them on. They're, I think they're petite. I don't know if you can see. Can you guys see that? Or no? <laughs> Yes, we can see the boyfriend cut, but the problem is when we get this fat, we need the Bowser cut because we're more around than we are tall, okay? Sriracha? So, so I have this little kit that I made. It has like a thing of Clorox wipes, thing of hand sanitizer, some rubber gloves, and my face mask. And it's a reusable face mask, so I wash it every night, but then I put, there's like filters, reusable filters. And... Watching her suck on a spoon was not on my bingo card for 2024, but I just don't know how I wound up here on YouTube doing this, and now I'm in friggin' girl world. Like, nobody knows what life can be. Life is a friggin' ride. <laughs> I needed to get my grandmother some things. I'm only trying to see her like once a week, if that, you know? And I think it's been long enough that I can go see her. I don't stay. I just bring her her stuff. 
she sanitizes with wipes after or whatever. Can we send you to see my grandma? Because she would cuss you up one side and down the other. She would give you the tongue lashing that Pete's would feel. Like, my grandma is a brutal woman. She, like, okay. I can't even say half the things she says. She's got me banned on TikTok. I recorded her once. I got banned. We're being very careful, is my point, okay? <laughs> Mm. Oh, man. So captivating. I just bought a Kia. We're going to have to return that shit. We can't have the same kind of car. Does she have a diaper on? Is that normal? Does she travel with a diaper? Girl world will have to let me know. I thought I saw a diaper. I'm sorry. That's a diaper. Confirm, not a diaper. Okay, whoa. I'd have to hear a foodie beauty mating call. What is that? Why is this the best moment? Let's try it with, this is my favorite stuff. This Palak paneer. <laughs> oh, yes. Can we just say that she's catering to like a certain group of people that watch these kinds of videos at this point? Because to me, I feel like she's 100% doing that. Mm. Meet a bite. Little town, it's a quiet village every day. Hey, she's got the I'm a little teapot short and stout shirt on. That's kind of funny. Like the one before. Little town, full of little people. Never mind, that's Beauty and the Beast. I guess she considers herself the beauty at this point. Alright, let's bring out the beast. Waking up to say... Bonjour! <laughs> Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Please. Come take my hand. Oh, hello. Don't look at me like that. Oh my God, I just got, I almost threw up. Wow. You can't stare into my soul like that with the camera. I don't even like looking at the lens that long. She's scaring the hell out of me right now. Keep going. You must be who my husband, Marcellus Wallace, asked to take me out for a good time. Jesus, we're role-playing cuckolding. Oh my God, this lady is such a disaster. Well, I was thinking we could head over to Jack Rabbit Slim's for a burger and a shake. What do you think? Let's get two. Let's get two. Even in your role-playing, you go out to dinner. Really? Okay. <laughs> Is that exercise or is she just practicing for something? I don't know, man, because that that didn't look right to me, okay? Flurry. Fruitopia. Which strawberry fruitopia? Sauces, Big Mac sauce, everything. So yeah. So let's get two. Let's get two. <laughs> you're probably like, geez, you're such in a bad mood. Oh so, I'm not I'm gonna be excited to get to my new place. So I have like a good filming area. Like... So her best moments consist of us just watching her eat, I guess, like the whole friggin' time. I'm getting secondhand embarrassment. Oh, sorry. Right now my room is so cluttered. That's my project of the day. 
Does she really say piggy bite before she eats french fries? I didn't know that. I missed that part of the lore. Getting all my clothes clean so I can pack what I'm not wearing right now. Do you not do laundry? I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> They're riding up. Mm. So just an update. In underwear. I <laughs> love having underwear. These are because... I don't have enough like really big comfy underwear like a lot of them are like not oh trust me i was a 6x boxer my friggin like my boxers were used to be like a resistance band those suckers you could exercise with they were insane high brief so i hate that they like roll down when i'm like walking so and she's got a slingshot too. I knew me and her could relate on something. I just had to find it. Got just a couple pairs of black. I got two pairs like this. <laughs> Showing you my underpants. I got polka dot underwear. All 4X. To cover my big booty. Gray. Okay, that's why I thought it was a diaper. She's wearing, I, I don't know how old she is, but I didn't think that, was. I think she's in her 30s. I didn't think women in their 30s wore that kind of underwear, unless there's like one time in the month they usually wear that kind of underwear. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't know. I'm just a guy, just a guy. That's what I thought, okay. I like gray underwear, I don't know why. And another pair of the black, so... So that's it. That's my haul. <laughs> Pretty exciting, eh? She's a, a YouTuber who has double my subscribers. 122,000 subscribers. That's fine. Um, some people think I'm just jealous. <laughs> Is she hating on Amber Lynn Reed right now? I think she wants to be her. She wants to be like more pathological of a liar than her. That can't happen, sis. That lady blew you out of the water. You might suck. But I don't think you lie as much as her. You probably lie a lot too, though. But not as much as her. She can't stop lying. I'm not jealous of somebody having more subscribers than me. Especially not since the only reason they have so many subscribers is because they talk about me and Amber Lynn. It's because you go into members only to chat. And people want to hate watch you and say nasty stuff to you. That's why. When you're live members only... People are going to friggin' subscribe. That's just what it is. Um, or that they are on this weight loss journey. So, that's the thing. This person criticizes Amberlynn and I in all her videos. Mostly Amberlynn. Um, because people like to use Amberlynn as a B. Is this uh, Karina Kaboom? I don't know. I know some of the drama channels. Like, they come up to me and recommend it. Especially when I end up watching one of these videos. I see them once in a while. ...eating posts on YouTube. And let's just face it, that's just what it is. Whether, she, what, no matter what she's done in the past, she's still a person and people like to use her as a beating post. Okay, not Karina Kaboom. Okay, I don't know who she is. I might I, I might have been recommended one of her videos. I've never seen it. I don't know who she is. My bad. So, um, but I'll be in the videos once in a while. One video in particular, she's made fun of my tent size underwear. So, I'm... I made fun of them too, but I had bigger ones. That's why I can make fun of them. I've been there, okay? I get it, but... I think it's funny to make fun of myself and you, so it's all good. Three, uh, 387 pounds, okay? She was bigger than me at one point. I'm pretty sure she was bigger than me. And recently, what interest sparked this, these feelings is that a video, uh, a video went around, and it has her mug shot, which is from 2019. Uh Charlie Gold, that's not a mug shot. I think Foodie Beauty has a mug shot, right? Isn't she skipping out on the visa or something with the shit shaman? I thought something like that was going on. Of her. And I don't really give a shit if she's been arrested. I don't care about... Oh, that's none of my business. What I was interested in is her weight on the mug shot. And it was like 
310 pounds or something like that. I've seen people say, well, at least she's still 70 pounds lighter than you. It doesn't matter. She's still morbidly obese. That's freshman year for me, sis. You're all going to have to play catch up. If we're really going to start ranking each other's fatness here, I blow you all out of the friggin' water. And she's been bigger than me, which means she has she is struggling still. She's not thin. She's not a, a, a epitome of health. She's still somebody who struggles with weight issues. And for her... Nobody cares. If you're trying to better yourself, you're making an effort, people will gravitate toward you naturally. They want to see you win. Whether, whether you want to believe that or not, if you started some kind of weight loss journey and actually were doing good, people would probably cheer you on, no matter how cruddy of a person you are, because you are entertaining. In the long run of things... You say some wild stuff like I do, but people just happen to respect real, and you don't give real all that often, at least in my experience watching you. Her to comment on the size of my underwear or to fat shame me or Amber Lynn is just ridiculous, and that's always been what I had an issue with. You know what I mean? Hi, guys. Hey, guys. I'm hyper today, and you're going to get it. <laughs> I feel so good. I feel uh, cleaned out because TMI, but uh, I spent all night in the bathroom. No. Oh, shit. God, why is this a best moment? Ow, that kind of friggin' hurt, man. Why'd I hit myself that hard? Because of that, ugh, I can't even think of the broccoli without feeling sick. That did a number on my digestive system. Word of the day, digestive system. So I look greasy. It's because I was using, I am using this vitamin enzyme mask, Mary Ruth's. Gonna give it a try, see if it works. And I have here, you guys haven't seen this llama in a while. Um, it's not Barack Llama anymore. It is now called Lewis after Daniel Day Lewis. Know who that is sorry i don't know i think i've heard the name before but it's really creeping me out that i'm pretty sure she's nude behind this thing like she's just stripped down i don't know why but she's just holding a llama unless she's catering to a certain group with her videos like i think she is um don't come for me if daniel day lewis has been in any scandals that i don't i don't know i don't pay attention to celebrity gossip or celebrity news so i don't know but uh yeah so I have Sam here, big bum. Uh, so yeah, so I had, I don't know if it's because I was like dehydrated, but in the middle of the night I had um, some bad leg cramps. So I got up and I drank uh, some coconut water and that actually seemed to really help. So if you have- Not a bad call, drink more water, it's good for you. I spent like a decade not drinking water. So drinking water is something I try to get like a gallon of water down a day. I know that's a lot, but I try my best. With leg cramps, try that. Um, yeah, help. I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to go in the shower and get ready. No, I'm not getting ready for Pete's and his birthday. It's Pete's birthday today. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> I know Pete's. I know who he is. I'm team Pete's to the death of me. I think that guy was actually friggin' nice. To you, at least. He was probably a godsend. You just kind of treated him like he was on the shelf, boyfriend, but all right. <laughs> it's Pete's birthday today, so we are going to, I don't even know what we're going to do. We're getting like a snowstorm, but um, he doesn't want to make a big deal out of it, so we might just do dinner and a movie. I don't even know. So it's going to be more of like a vlog, I guess, kind of day. Uh, and I'm using this llama because I'm bare naked right now, so yeah. I knew it. I knew it. I could just tell why. Doing you all a favor. Hey guys, hey, hey guys, hey, how are you? How are you? Well, don't I look wonderful? This wig does not fit me. It was like a dollar. I don't know, like I'm lazy today, okay? I didn't... <laughs> this is what you're getting for a Halloween costume. <laughs> a ratty wig. <laughs> I can just see the memes popping up now. <laughs> So anyways, I'm excited though about this cheese and bread platter. Um, it's a pure cope laugh at that point, right? She hates those memes. You could just tell. 
That was the most coke laugh I've ever heard in my life. Um, I wanted to do something kind of Halloweeny for this month. I still have we still have lots of time. Um, Thursday, Pete's and I are going to the Pumpkin Inferno. I know I know a lot of you liked that vlog, so stay tuned. <laughs> All right, couple fails. I already told you about the cheese problem. So yeah, it actually is harder than it looks <laughs> to shape cheese because it has to be like the right consistency for the shape you're trying to do. This freaking wig is hot. All right. Um, and I don't have a cork opener. I thought I did a corkscrew, but I don't. So this wine is, again, just for decoration. So I'm having grape juice, cold grape juice. And here, what can we name this guy? Let's name him Marshall. And I'm, that's inspired by what I'm about to talk about. Pretty sure that's Frankenstein, but you probably would call him Franken Fritter or whatever. All right. So let's try this cheese. I need to try this pumpkin spice cheese first. And when I eat bread, my jaw clicks major. I'm just warning you. <laughs> so if you don't like it, I'm going to take the rind off. Yeah, you're not supposed to eat the wax, right? So yeah, I'm on this bread. It smells like pumpkin spice. Okay, let's try. Beauty bite. Oh, she didn't say piggy bite is beauty bite right why did i hear piggy bite the first time i don't know i definitely heard piggy bite the first time I am not an ASMR guy. I don't fault you if you are, but that, I will have a nightmare tonight from that friggin' sound out of her. Also, when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I did the one chip challenge. I was like friggin' dying. I think the video is still up on my channel, unless I private it, I don't know. And then I touched my eye, so then I was in the shower dumping milk in my eye, like such an idiot. Thanks for watching guys, I'm gonna stick to crunchy, non-spicy ASMR food items from now on. And then I have to go to the bathroom again. That you're in the car, you gotta poop? Well, I managed to poop, but it was the poop plug. I call it the poop poop plug, which is like a pre-poop. Like, it's a poop that, it's kind of like pulling a plug. And then, like, it's a poop that, I don't explain, I can't explain the poop plug. It's a poop that causes more poop to come. Ew. Why? Why are you sharing this with the world? Your digestive tract is on full display for, I think she has over 100,000 people now. You guys said she bought those subscribers, but I don't know. Maybe they're real. Actually, they can't be. She only gets, what, like 8,000 people to watch her stuff usually? I know what you're getting at. <laughs> How would I explain that you're better at this? Uh... You guys, I'm here at Bath and Body Works. This is my new sweater, by the way. Um, with Pete's, I think there's stuff in here. I'm gonna check it out. Let's go. Okay. I just realized why she married Sala. That guy's into doo doo, right? It gets him really bricked up, okay? And she's the poop club beauty or whatever. So she probably just blowing her backside all over that man or something. Okay, I need to put my thing down. Give me a second, guys. So. Hi, Pete. Hi. This is our first time finding something. So Please pull out that Popeye's box. I thought I thought so bad she was digging towards the Popeye's. I grabbed a Bath and Body Works bag. And I found this thing. Found some frosted cranberry hand soap. And 
some toasted vanilla chai soap and sleep chamomile soap and this little fish. So there we go. You guys, does anybody actually does does anybody actually subscribe to her for a dumpster diving video? She is the dumpster. She's already been dove. Like, that's the point, right? Not too bad. And I found a lack of enjoyment for dumpster diving. It's not bad. So, there you go, guys. They wanted me along. Shh. Are you coming? Butt shot. Eats the world can do without. We really can. I promise you. Not with yours and Sala pushing. Not gonna happen, okay? We can do without. Boop. I am 100% deleting this whole dumpster diving part. There is a bunch of Rolos and coffee and stuff in that bag. I need to get that stuff. I don't know if I can reach it. Damn it. Hold on, guys. All right, guys, so there's a whole bunch of coffee, Rolos, there's stuff in that bag. And I just like, I'm standing on a thing and it's just barely out of reach. <laughs> so unfortunately I can't grab these things because I am not, uh, the opening to the dumpster is not wide enough for me to climb in and it's too Oh man, they fat proofed the dumpster. That's crazy. They would throw Rolos in there as like a rat trap for fat people that try to dumpster dive, right? Dangerous, so. And my grabber's just like really not meant to grab heavy things. So there's like a picture here. There's like all stuff. So that sucks. Oh well. Next bin. But we're not going to get that today. I'm also out of produce, but that's because I never buy it. <laughs> Ever. Jimmy Chunk. And obligatory buckshot. Right off the bat. <laughs> Pete's is just the most horned up person ever. I didn't realize that this was like his whole persona. I didn't realize he was like that. I was Team Pete's. I might change. I'll try to replicate it one day. So let's have a cucumber. I've been really craving this with ranch. It's like super thick and yummy. There's like chunks of like chives and like... Is there dill? Oh, there's dill. Marry me now, Stephen. Marry me now. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's give you a beauty bite of this ranch. Beauty, beauty bite. The last thing I wanted to be doing with my evening today was watching you bite a cucumber. Beauty bite? Like, I really did not want to do that today. <laughs> I just <laughs> I'm done freaking out. <laughs> okay, um gonna put this out there. A warning. Well deserved warning. This video, what I'm about to talk about is very gross. So yeah, it's kinda weird while I'm eating that I'm gonna be talking about this, but if you're easily Oh, for the love of God, I've already heard about your poop plug. Please don't do it again. Please. Really grossed out by things, squeamish medical things, um, body fluids, stuff like that. You probably don't want to watch this video. I haven't been sleeping well because remember I told you that I have this like abscess or boil, something growing like in my right here, like in the back. And it kept, when it first started growing about a week or so ago, I noticed like a, a bump. And so it kept growing. And yesterday it just came to a boiling, a boil point. <laughs> no pun intended. I know, horrible. Where I couldn't even like walk around. It would hurt, like it was so painful. It was inflamed, it was red. Um, Go to the doctor, not YouTube. That's not the place that you want 
I mean, you probably can find some doctors, honestly. I've had some doctors talk to me before on here, but you really need to go to a doctor. So it was like red and purple. I'm gonna insert a picture. Um, so just be oh. warned, I'm gonna insert a picture here. Why, for the love of God, why? So you can't see any like white or pust. So I thought you had to wait for that to show before it could get drained. And I was hoping it would just go away on its own, honestly. And I started not feeling well. So I took my temperature and it was rising. Like when I first took it, it was like 36.5. Because your body is fighting off infection. So your temperature, at least I think that's how it works, right? So yes, you need a doctor. They need to lance it. Like they're gonna have to do a bunch. You probably need antibiotics too. And then the last time it was like 37.5. Seven, which isn't really a fever. They say anything over 38, but it was getting close. So I emailed a picture of the thing to my doctor and she emailed me back even though it was after hours. Um, she was like, go to the hospital, they will drain it. Because it was after hours, you know, so no clinics were open. So I'm like, oh my God. Go to the hospital. Especially during COVID. Scary. And he's like, looking at it. And I'm like, don't touch it. It hurts. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, but I probably would take some rubbing alcohol, put it on a box cutter and try it myself. I know that's stupid, but I'm just telling you what I probably would have done. What does he do? He squeezes it. He squeezes at it. Obviously he has to. And... I was like, ah, I screamed. Like, I can tolerate pain very well. I'm not squeamish with needles. My hysterectomy, I didn't, that was a, that was not, like, the pain was nothing really. Like, it was bad at first, but, um, yeah. So, this was bad. This was like the worst pain I've felt, I swear. But does it still need to be drained? He's like, well, I want to do an ultrasound on it just to see if there's like a deep pocket of infection in there. So, he gets this machine, he wheels in, and he's like, on it and I'm like friggin like, I'm like grabbing at the bed so he's like yes oh yes it's, he's like there's a big pocket of infection he's like I'm gonna have to cut it and drain it just like excuse me <laughs> so I'm like panicking I'm like I wasn't ready I'm not ready <laughs> because I'll never forget this now this is where it's gonna get gross okay so just more can't believe that you make a compilation of her greatest moments and having a boil is part of her like wow this is her grammy moment this is everything okay this is like her golden globes all right she's got an infection and that is like her moment to shine warning you if you're grossed out don't listen beyond this point at least for like a few minutes i'm eating it uh, you know Strong stomach. I don't know what they were doing. But they did a first incision. I could feel hot stuff leaking on my back. And then... Wouldn't be the first time, huh? Poop plug. All right, sorry. sorry. He was... I don't know if it was like the core part. They were trying to... I could feel tools scraping. It felt like I could feel the incisions after that. It felt like somebody was slicing my skin open, which is what it was. And every time they would squeeze, it would they would squeeze so hard. Like a reflex, it would be a reflex in my leg. I would kick the doctor in the shins. It was so painful, I swear everyone heard me. I was screaming, crying, I was clawing at the wall. I was I couldn't bear it. Like I oh man. It was bad. And the doctor the whole time was just going, hmm, you're doing so well. Look really calm. And I was like, I'm going to die. I can't take it anymore. Oh, my God. So. Nothing about this sounds any entertaining to me at friggin' all. But I guess, like I said, this is her best friggin' moment. I'm surprised. 
Anyway, it was bad. I don't know if any of you have had that happen. Let me know if it hurt because it hurt so bad. It, it was because it was infected. And then here's here's the really gross part. Okay. I had I had a mask on because you have to wear a mask. They give you a mask to wear the whole time that you're at the hospital. Through the mask. And, like, I couldn't smell anything with my mask on, and I knew that because the man sitting across from me in the waiting room farted, and I couldn't smell it. So I Sweet. I never thought about playing defense for farts with a mask, but I guess it makes sense. But she's going to say she could smell the pus, which is gross, but, I mean, it makes sense. You're talking about, like, a big pocket of infection. I knew that, you know, it wasn't covering the smells. All of a sudden... I get a whiff of like, it was strong, like it permeating the whole room. It smelled like, like 40 skunks were having a squirt party or a spray party and like rotten egg. It was smelled nasty. What in the hell Pepe Le Pew squirt party are you watching? Are you really into that weird stuff? Are you watching some kind of like, I don't know, maybe like it starts with an H, but with Pepe Le Pew, is that what you're talking about? So I'm like, what's that smell? <laughs> it must have been such a... <laughs> People were pro... Everyone could hear me, I'm sure. And he's like, mm, oh, that's just the infection. Is, aren't you glad that's out of your body and not in your body? So I'm like... Okay, I am 100% done with that. Thank you, Girl Tube, for putting together her best moments. But I am still amazed that dumpster diving falls into her, like, Hall of Fame moment. And a boil makes it there. I would think Salah, but I think this is like an older video. But that guy, I love ripping into that guy. Because it's just funny. Everybody, I think, hates that guy. I don't think everybody really likes her too much. And I don't know what Beezing is. But she's entertaining. You could say a lot of things about her. But entertaining, definitely one of them. If you want to watch a dumpster fire, this is the place to go. Okay, You go to Feudy, like Foodie Beauty for the dumpster fire. Not Amberlynn Reed. You go there to be lied to, okay? But thank you, girl world, for turning my stomach for the night. I will have nightmares about what I have heard in Pete's butt shots and your beauty bites. But all right, man. Leave a like. Leave a comment for me putting myself through this. And um, I will see y'all later. Bye.